हेलो देर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग फ्रिक्शन सो वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ दीज थ्री फैक्टर्स दैट इज नेचर ऑफ सर्फेसिस इन कॉन्टेक्ट नॉर्मल फोर्स एंड द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट विल अफेक्ट द फ्रिक्शन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन बाय वन सो लेट्स से आई हैव अ बॉक्स ओवर हेयर and the box is kept over a surface that is pretty rough that you can see over here as well right now let's try to push this box so you are able to see as i'm pushing this box the ground is applying a frictional force of 94 newton in this case now what would happen if i make the surface smooth will the friction force increase or decrease now in this case the surface is very smooth now let's see what effect does it has on the frictional force now you are able to see the frictional force is only 14 newton in this case so we can say that as the roughness of the surface increase the frictional force also increases so we can conclude that the rough surfaces create more friction because of more interlocking of surface irregularities let's try to understand what do we mean by the interlocking of surface irregularities let's say these are the two surfaces surface number 1 and surface number 2 and let's say the surface number 1 is trying to move over surface number 2 so when it is trying to move so there would be a relative motion between these two and because of the relative motion the force of friction will come into picture now the reason the force of friction comes into picture is because of the irregularities between these surface now if we see from a microscopic level the surfaces are very irregular and because of this irregularity the friction is there now as the irregularity increases that would happen in the case of a rough surface the friction would ultimately increase but in the smooth surface the irregularities would not be that much and hence the friction would not be that much as compared to that of the rough surfaces now let's understand the second factor that is the normal force let's understand how the normal force would affect friction but first of all let's understand what do we mean by normal force Let's imagine that there is a box of mass m lying on this particular surface. Now, there would be a force of gravity that would be pulling this box downwards and that force is given by m into g. Now, the surface would be applying an equal and opposite force in this case. So, in this case, the force would be equal to mg and this is what is called the normal reaction. So, the normal reaction is the force exerted by a surface. In this case, this is the surface that is applying this force that is the normal reaction and this force is normal or we can say perpendicular to the object resting on it so with respect to this surface the force is at 90 degrees is and that is what is called the normal reaction now please note that the normal reaction is coming out to be mg in this particular case it might not be for all the cases now since the weight of this body would be equal to mg so in this case we can say that the normal reaction is equal to mg so let's understand what effect does this normal reaction has on the friction now let's say in this case the mass of the box is 50 kg so the weight would be 50 times the acceleration due to gravity if we assume the acceleration due to gravity roughly as 10 m per second square so we can say that roughly the weight of this body would be 500 newtons and if the weight is 500 newtons in this particular case the normal reaction will also be 500 newtons now let's see what is the frictional force in this situation so as i'm trying to move this body and the body has started to move we can see that there is a frictional force of 94 newton in this case now let's increase the mass of this body so if we increase the mass of this body now the mass becomes 50 plus 50 that is 100 kg so we can say the weight would be 100 times the acceleration due to gravity that would become 1000 newtons so in this case the normal reaction becomes 1000 newtons now let's see if it has any effect on the frictional force now as i'm trying to move this you are able to see that the frictional force is 188 newton which is much greater than the previous frictional force so we can say as the normal reaction increases the frictional force also increases now finally let's understand how the surface area of contact affects friction Let's say I have this box and the mass of this box is 5 kg. So the weight of this box considering g as 10 m per second square would be equal to so we can say the weight in this case would be equal to 50 newtons 
and as we just saw in the earlier case we can simply say that the normal reaction in this case would be 50 newtons now let's take two situations in situation number one the box is lying on the surface in this position and in situation number two the box is lying on the table let's say in this uh, particular position first situation when the box is lying on the table in this position so we can say that the surface area of contact would be this much area and in the second situation we can say that the surface area of contact would be this much area now in both these situations the normal reaction would be 50 newton since the weight of both the boxes is the same because these are the same boxes but the difference is that the surface area of contact in this particular situation in situation number second is more as compared to the surface area of contact in situation number one do you think it will have any effect on friction so we already know the reason of friction is the interlocking of the surface irregularities so it will be only fair to assume that since in second situation or the second position the surface area is more so the interlocking would be more and hence the friction would be more but is it really the case let's try to find out so now let's try to understand how the surface area of contact affects friction with the help of this particular activity now here i have the same box but in two different positions position number one and position number two now as I am applying the force on this particular boxes there would be some reading in the spring balance and the reading would reflect the opposition forces so the opposition forces in this case is the frictional force now, let's say I am displacing both these boxes with the same amount and I am noting down what is the reading in the spring balance so we will find out that the reading in the spring balance is same in both these situations let's say the reading in the wing balance is 50 in this situation it's also 50 in this situation so the reading in the wing balance is actually telling us about the frictional force because the frictional force is the one that is opposing this motion now as the reading in the spring balance is same in both these situations it tells us that the surface area of contact has no effect on the frictional force but this is sort of contrary to what we were thinking initially right we were thinking that in the second position since the surface area of contact is more the irregularities would be more and hence the interlocking would be more and hence the friction force should be more but as we just saw that friction is independent of the surface area of contact so how do we explain that so the reason behind that is when the surface area increases the pressure on each point decreases because we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area so as the surface area increases the pressure decreases and as the surface area decreases the pressure increases so what actually happens that these two effects cancel each other out so the net friction force remains the same and that is the reason that in this situation even if the surface area was more but the pressure was less and that is why the friction was not increasing that much and similarly in this case the surface area was less but the pressure was more so both the effects are counteracting each other in such a way that the friction force is not getting changed with the surface area of contact so we can conclude that in ideal conditions the surface area does not affect friction so i hope you are now clear with what are the factors affecting friction so the nature of surface in contact if the surfaces are rough the friction force would be more normal force if the weight of the object is more if the normal reaction is more then the frictional force would be more and the friction is independent of the surface area of contact see you in the next video till then bye bye